RCB News on Saturday evening when news broke out that Ravindra Jadeja had been named a late replacement for the injured Azar Patel, both Yuzvendra Chahil and Kaldeep Yadav would have had their hearts in their mouth. The top-ranked all-rounder in test matches boasts fielding batting attributes that better both the above-mentioned spinners and would have been expected to reclaim his place in the Indian side. But Virat and the Indian team's think tank had clear plans when it came to picking the final eye, and that was to trouble the opposition with quality wrist spin bowling. The combined spell of 563 and 9 overs by Chile and Kaldeep vindicated Virat's belief in the duo who spun India to a 26 run victory by the DL method in a rain interrupted contest. Earlier, Virat Kohli had won the toss and opted to bat first on what seemed like a twopist wicket. India faltered at the beginning, losing three quick wickets which stifled the scoring of runs. Pacer Nathan Coulter Niles predetermined plan to ball wide outside off stump to the Indian batsmen, which largely consisted of right-handers worked well. From 113 at one point, Keeter Jadav's counter-attacking approach clicked until he was caught at mid-wicket of Marcus Stoinis bowling. It was 875 by this time, and somebody had to stop the slump. That was when MS Dhoni and Hardik Pandya put their hands up and volunteered to play the waiting game. It wasn't until the 37th over when Pandya unleashed some towering hits of Zampa's bowling that went for 24 runs and seemingly turned the tide in the favor of the hosts. Pandya soon got to his 50 and continued with his boundary onslaught until he mistimed one for Zampa to get his mojo back. Pandya's wicket didn't deter Dhoni or Booby in their approach as they steered India past the 280 mark. Dhoni rolled back the years with some lusty blows at the end of the innings, and the Chennai fans reciprocated with chants and whistles twice before Australia were set 164 to win from 21 overs, they were set adjusted targets as the rain played cat and mouse with the players, fans and match officials. When we were finally underway, Australia got off to an indifferent start when debutant Hilton Cartwright was undone seemingly by the pressure of the occasion. Captain Steve Smith survived a review which was adjudged, not out on field and umpire's call by the third umpire. India lost that review, but won't first October onwards, when the new rules of the game come into effect. Losing the review didn't matter too much after all as Smith was dismissed by Pandy at the very next ball. Glenn Maxwell did manage to upset the rhythm of the Indian spinners with some clean hitting until RCB boy child deliberately bowled one outside off for him to mistime his attempt to long on. From then on, Australia kept losing wickets at regular intervals until India emerged comfortable winners. Pantia's all round exploits deservedly handed him the Mom Award, and Child returned with impressive figures of three wickets for 30 in his five overs. Both teams head to Kolkata for the second Dodi on Thursday and India will ride on today's fight back and will look to continue to play bold. The series has just begun, can we see a better batting performance by the Aussies in the next game?